During sexual arousal, sperm travel from the epididymis up the vas deferens, a thick muscular tube that uses rhythmic contractions to propel them toward the pelvic cavity. The vas deferens then joins the duct of the seminal vesticule to form the ejaculatory duct, which is located behind the prostate gland. This is where sperm are mixed with the fluid of the seminal vesicles. A viscous liquid that is rich in fructose to nourish and energize them. As this mixture, now called semen, passes through the prostate gland, more fluid is added. This prostatic fluid contains enzymes and prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, which work to liquefy the semen and give it its final texture and function. Rhythmic contractions of the pelvic floor muscles help propel semen forward during ejaculation. At the moment of ejaculation, the bladder neck, or internal urethral sphincter, contracts firmly. This action is crucial as it closes the entry to the bladder, preventing semen from flowing backward and urine from entering the semen. The semen is then forcefully expelled from the body through the urethra. In some conditions, the bladder neck muscle or internal urethral sphincter doesn't close properly during ejaculation allowing semen to flow backward into the bladder. Once semen flows backward into the bladder, it mixes with urine, which is naturally acidic and not a suitable environment for sperm survival. As a result, most sperm quickly lose their mobility and viability, becoming inactive within minutes. Although the man still experiences the physical sensation and pleasure of orgasm, little or no semen exits the body through the urethra. This condition is known as retrograde ejaculation or dry orgasm. Later, when the man urinates, the semen is expelled together with urine, often giving the urine a cloudy or milky appearance after orgasm. To confirm the diagnosis, Doctors perform a post-ejaculation urinalysis. If a significant number of sperm cells or other seminal components are detected in the urine sample, it clearly confirms that semen has entered the bladder instead of exiting through the urethra. The condition itself is typically not dangerous to physical health. A common misconception about urinary tract infections is that sperm itself can cause an infection. In reality, while sexual activity may increase the risk of developing a UTI, it's not the sperm that spreads bacteria. Instead, the infection occurs when bacteria from the genital area are accidentally pushed into the urethra and urinary tract during sexual activity. The primary symptom of retrograde ejaculation is the experience of a dry orgasm, where little to no semen is expelled during climax. While sexual desire, the ability to achieve an erection and the sensation of orgasm typically remain normal. And a key indicator of the condition is the appearance of the urine immediately following orgasm. Because the semen has flowed backward and mixed with urine in the bladder, the urine will appear cloudy or milky. The most significant physical consequence is male infertility. Since semen does not exit the penis, it is extremely difficult or impossible to conceive a child through traditional intercourse. Conceiving a baby is possible through intrauterine insemination, or IUI, or in vitro fertilization, or IVF, practices. Retrograde ejaculation can occur for several reasons, most of which affect the normal function of the bladder neck muscle. One common cause is nerve damage, which may result from conditions like diabetes, spinal cord injuries, or surgical procedures involving the prostate or bladder. In these cases, the nerves that control the closing of the bladder neck may not send the proper signals during ejaculation. Certain medications, 
such as those used to treat high blood pressure, depression, or an enlarged prostate, can also relax the bladder neck muscle, allowing semen to flow backward. In rare cases, congenital or structural abnormalities present from birth can lead to the same problem. Dry orgasm can have considerable emotional and psychological consequences. The unexpected absence of ejaculate can be distressing, leading to anxiety, especially performance anxiety. Some men may experience embarrassment or feel that the condition makes them less masculine, leading to reluctance to discuss the issue with a healthcare professional.